nothing to worry about, Bumpy. <laughs> There's no such thing as monsters. Come and see for yourself. See? Nothing there. <laughs> huh? Hello, Noddy. We've visitors from Fable Forest. <laughs> Don't worry. It's Biggies. And the Knights. Reporting a mystery to Noddy. Whilst on sentry duty at the castle, I saw a dazzled dragon. A what? I've never heard of a dazzled dragon before. <laughs> there are no dragons in Toyland. Certainly no <laughs> dazzling ones. Oh, well, I saw it in the forest. It had big eyes and golden scales. Mm. Who else saw it? Not us, sir. We were on patrol. A dragon is very serious, sir. We need to find it before it scares everyone in Fable Forest. You're right, and I'll help you. I need to investigate. How can I find this dazzle dragon? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Now. Let's call this the case of the Dazzle Dragon. Oh, what's your plan, Noddy? I'll go to where the dragon was last seen. Come on, Bumpy, to the Fable Forest. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our Fort Noddy Sun. One, two, one. We're heading off on our nightly patrol. You're welcome to join us. We go with strong shields. Fiery torches. And really big flags. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, but I'm going to search for the dragon. I'll stay here with the sentry. Very well, sir. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Sentry, you're sure this is where you were when you saw the Dazzle Dragon? Correct, sir. Hmm. Nothing there. Huh? <gasps> What's that? Oh, that's it! The Dazzle Dragon! Wow! It does look like a dragon. I'm going after it. Worry, Bumpy. I'll look after you. Come on. like a huge centipede. <laughs> what 
What a mess. It looks like the dragon bashed into the signpost. But where did it go next? <coughs> yes, I can hear it too. It's heading for the naughty corn stables. Let's go! <coughs> What was that? Mm, I don't know. Mm. <gasps> Cloppy corn, you look. But go on. <gasps> oh. <gasps> <gasps> go on. wasn't scared. In fact, I think I scared it away. You see, nothing scares me. <laughs> oh, my. Don't do that. <laughs> where did it go? Down there. Then that's where I'm going. <laughs> Is that OK, Bumpy? to scare it. Why don't you all come with me? Let's go. Y hang on, wait for me. Help me. Noddy, Noddy, wait. <laughs> there you are. Is. When did you get here? Just now. I had to know if this dragon was real. <laughs> oh, it's definitely real. I saw it. Oh, so when can I see it? Hmm. I don't know. I thought it was coming here. Nothing here, sir! <laughs> <laughs> Knight, did you see the dragon on your patrol? Not even a whisper, sir. But oh, it was so loud. Look. This was the route it took through the forest. You must have seen something. <gasps> but that's our route through the forest. It must have been right behind us. All right in front of us. Huh? This is your route through the forest. Hmm. Wait a minute. You had shields and torches and flags. Hmm. Oh! Knights, please can you do one more patrol just around the castle? Oh, what are you thinking? Knights on patrol! Knights on patrol! What do they look like? Oh. Mm. Like... Like dragon eyes. Oh. Oh. oh, yes. <laughs> and the torches and flags... Are like wings and a long, scaly tail. There isn't a dragon at all. It was the knights on patrol. They didn't mean to, but they made the shape of a dragon. A 
Of course! <laughs> they are the dragon. That's right. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I knew there was nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, no dragon. I'm sorry on behalf of all of us. Salute to Noddy! <laughs> Good news. The toys of Fable Forest don't have to be scared about dragons anymore. <laughs> well done, Noddy. <laughs> Thanks, Biggies. I thought the dragon had lots of feet, but it was the knights marching, and the loud dragon noise was the knights clattering their armour. The case of the dazzled dragon is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! Wait till you see the new Tower Clockwork Mouse is building. It's so cool. Um, is this cool? No. What's happened? It didn't look like this yesterday. Ooh. Watch that door. On the roof. No. On the window. No. Um. What's wrong with Clockwork Mouse? Oh, Noddy. Clockwork Mouse isn't making any sense today. She needs a rest. She never lets anyone else help. Huh? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Do oh, what now? Don't worry, Carlton. We can help. Thank you, Noddy. I like huh? your funny hat. <laughs> can I ring the bell? Clockwork Mouse, would you mind if I examine you? Oh, not at all, Bobby. Oh, Noddy! <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's that? It's all sticky. <laughs> it looks like... Sticky Potty. That's why Clockwork Mouse is being so strange. Oh. I need to investigate. Who put Sticky Potty on Clockwork Mouse's key? Yes, good question. Time to open a new case. Investigate. Let's call this the case of the sticky putty. <laughs> What's the plan, Noddy? First, I really need to find out how the putty got there. Uh, Clockwork Mouse? <gasps> Hello? <gasps> Did anything strange happen today with your key? Strange? No, my key is checked and polished every morning just like Clockwork. Clockwork. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Oh, dear. Whoever put the potty there must be someone very close to you. Carlton, he spends lots of time with you. Carlton? Carlton would never do anything like that. He's such a kind dog. I mean, cat. <laughs> yes, you're right. Who else works with you? The Builders. Well done, Bumpy. Ugh, this putty is getting harder and harder. <laughs> I don't think I can get it off. Let's go and see Fuse. He can mend everything. Mend, 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 mend. Good idea, Biggies. I'll see you later. Hope you feel better soon, Clockwork Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, you didn't see any Builders near Clockwork Mouse with putty? No one at all. We don't use putty on the site. Our bricks don't need it, see? Hmm. Who does use putty, then? Putty fixes things together and Fuse fixes toys. Maybe he uses it. Come on! 
I'm afraid Clockwork Mouse is going to be very difficult to fix. Difficulty level 8 out of 10. It's very exciting. Super challenge. Happy face! ask you something. Oh? You use putty, don't you? Correct. Putty is very handy. A good workshop always has plenty of putty. Uh, so, do you know how the putty got on Clockwork Mouse? Negative. I repair toys. I do not break them. Right. You haven't got very much putty. I thought a good workshop always had plenty of putty. Yes, Noddy. You're right. Memory recall! I gave Smarty Saurus some this morning. Smarty Saurus? What was she going to do with it? Unknown reason. She asked for some really good putty. I've got to go and see her. Bye, Fuse! Goodbye, Noddy. Clockwork Mouse will be safe with me. how strong putty is when it dries out. Did you test it on Clockwork Mouse? She's got it stuck all around her key. Oh, no! Poor Clockwork Mouse. I'd never experiment on other toys. Oh. I'm trying to find out who did, but I'm not getting anywhere. Oh. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> Big Ears always says, when you don't know how to go forward, go back and look at what you already know. Where else can we find some putty? The only other place that has putty is the brick build building shop. But they didn't have any this morning. That's why I went to borrow some from Fuse. The brick build building shop, of course! Yeah! Ouch! I need to find out who else took Sticky Putty from the shop. Let's go, Bumpy. <laughs> Welcome to the, uh, br brick -a build building shop. Yeah. How can I help you? We stock bricks, uh, blocks, uh, and uh, everything for your building needs. Can you tell me who last took some sticky putty, please? Uh, oh, it's on the tip of my, uh, on the, that is to say I, uh, oh, I can't remember, sorry. Oh. Do you think you might have written it down somewhere? Oh, yes, in my register. Yeah. Oh. I can't remember where I put it. Oh, thanks. Uh, there it is. <laughs> I ask everyone who takes anything to sign in here, just in case I, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, forget, yes. Can I have a look? Oh, yes. <laughs> Mmm. That paw print belongs to a cat. A really big cat. Who is the biggest cat we know? Carlton! But Clockwork Mouse was sure it couldn't be Carlton. There's only one way to find out. Bye! Um, uh, what's the word? Tower's back to normal again. <laughs> Clockwork Mouse. Oh, hello, Noddy. Look, whoa! I'm as good as new and all wound up and ready to go. Ta-da! 
Oh, Clockwork Mouse, you're fixed. I'm so happy to see you. Carlton, do you know how the sticky putty got onto Clockwork Mouse's key? Yes, it was me. Oh. I put it on. Whistle my whiskers. When? I didn't notice a thing. W when I polished your key this morning. But why, Carlton? Well, you're always busy running around and you never stop. I only wanted you to slow down a bit and have a rest. Oh, you didn't realise the putty would get so hard. That's right. I'm so very sorry. You were trying to help me? Oh, Carlton. <gasps> I do work very hard. I don't ever seem to have time to get it all finished. I know. What if you both work together? Then you can get everything finished quicker and you'll have more time to do other things. Like resting. And playing. But that's an excellent idea, Noddy. Come along, Carlton. Let's finish that tower together. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, off we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done, Noddy. How did you work it out? First, I looked all over Toyland to find out who had sticky putty. When I saw Carlton's paw print in the putty register, I knew he might have damaged Clockwork Mouse's key. He was just trying to help. Yay! 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 The case of the sticky putty is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case... Closed! It is a bright and cheery day in Toyland, and everyone is up and about, except Noddy. <gasps> Who could that be so early in the morning? Good morning, Miss Pink Cat. What are you doing here so early? It is not early, Noddy. In fact, it is rather late. More, in fact, you are late. Me? Yes. You were supposed to pick up my ice cream cones from the train station this morning. When you didn't bring them to my shop, no one could buy any cones. And I had to walk all the way to the station to get them. It's not late. In fact, it's only five o'clock in the morning. See? No, it is almost lunchtime. Your clock must be broken. It's not ticking. Oh, no. The clock is broken. Miss Pink Cat, I'll have my clock fixed today. Then I'll pick up some new ice cream cones for you tomorrow. I promise I won't sleep late. I do, I do, I do. I certainly hope so, Noddy. Car. We've got to hurry to Mr. Sparks' garage and get my poor clock fixed. I don't want to be late again. Miss Pink Cat will be very cross with me. I will not be late, cos I care a lot. When I set a time, I show up on the dot. Being late is rude, rude is what I'm not. That's why I will always get there on the dot. Aha! Noddy, I worked out why your clock didn't ring this morning. Why? It's broken. The ticker's not ticking and the ringer's not ringing. I know that, but can you fix it? Mm, it's a challenge. I like it. I can fix anything. Great! In a few days. A few days? Well, OK. But how am I going to wake up on time tomorrow, Mr Sparks? <laughs> Mr Sparks? Maybe I can borrow a clock from Tessie Bear. Tessie Bear, wait for me! Oh, hello, no. 
everybody. Bumpy Dog and I are going to play fetch in the square. Do you want to come? <coughs> Thanks, Tessie, but I need to ask you something. Can I borrow your alarm clock so I'll wake up on time tomorrow? Sorry, Noddy. I don't use an alarm clock. No clock? Then how do you get up so early to feed your chickens? <laughs> That's easy. I just listen for the rooster. When he crows, I know it's time to get up. That's a great idea. Tessie, do you think I could borrow your rooster? <laughs> of course, Noddy. Come on. <laughs> Let's see. I keep my clock here on my table, so I'll put you there instead. OK, Mr Rooster. Let's practice. <gasps> no, no, no! You stand there and crow, not stand here and peck my bell. This will never work. I won't be able to sleep with a rooster on my head all night. And if I can't sleep, how can I wake up? Naughty, are you home? Master Tubby Bear, come here. I need your help. Hi, Noddy. What's wrong? I was supposed to pick up ice cream cones for Miss Pink Cat, but my alarm clock broke. I can't let her down again tomorrow morning. <laughs> I know. I live right next door. Why don't I tie a string around your foot and when my alarm clock rings tomorrow, I'll pull the string to wake you. Yes, and when I feel the tug, I'll know it's time to get up. Oh, thank you, Master Tubby Bear. <laughs> no problem. I'll talk to you in the morning. <gasps> oh no! What if the string breaks when it's pulled? I'd better check it. This part's good. This part's good. So is this. This too. Not bad. OK. Good. <sighs> well, that took a long time. But everything looks good. So now I can get back to sleep. <gasps> what if Master Toby Bear let go of the string? If he dropped it in his sleep, he may not find it in the morning. I'd better make sure he still has it in his hand. <coughs> oh. Ouch! Noddy, you just pulled me out of bed. Sorry, Master Tubby. I wanted to make sure you still had the string. Well, I do. Now go back to sleep. <gasps> Maybe my bed is too far away from Master Tubby's house. I'll move it closer to the window. to sleep. Hey, I'll get a nice glass of warm milk. That's what Big Ears does when he can't sleep. <sighs> I suppose milk wasn't such a good idea after all. <sighs> Is that Miss Pink Cat again? Wake, wake up, Noddy! Wake, wake up! up! How can that be? Master Tubby was supposed to pull this string. I did pull the string, Noddy, but it was broken. Oh, no. 
when I fell down last night, I must have broken it. You don't have time to feel bad, Noddy. Get dressed or you'll be late. <sighs> Hurry, sleepyhead. The train leaves in two minutes. All ready. Everyone to the station. No train? Oh dear, I've let Miss Pink Cat down again. Hello, Noddy. Hello, everyone. Miss Pink Cat, what are you doing here? I was worried that you might oversleep again, so I came to the station myself. I'm sorry I let you down again, Miss Pink Cat. Oh, silly Noddy. You weren't late. You were right on time. Today it is the train that is late. My ice cream cones won't be here until lunchtime. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should have slept in. <laughs> What's going on over there? Somebody help me! Someone's in trouble. Let's go. Oh! What's happened? Are you okay? I don't know what happened. The crane was out of control, so I called for help, and then I was upside down. Hmm. crane is really big. I don't think it could bend like that by accident. Huh? <laughs> oh, deltoid! Greetings, building worker friend. I, Deltoid, want to check if you are all right. Mm hmm. Oh, that is good. Excuse me, I must leave. <laughs> oh, that is not good. That's the second accident in Toyland this morning. The second? Where else has this happened? At Farmer Tom's. He told us his apple tree fell right over. Two things in one morning. I need to investigate what's causing the accidents in Toyland. Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Where? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this the case of the Toyland accident. Did any of you see what happened to the crane? No. No. I was on my way to have tea with Carlton when I saw it spinning, but I didn't see anyone nearby. Hmm. If I can work out what happened at the farm, it might help me find out what happened here. Good idea, Noddy. Bye. See you later. I was picking my lovely lettuces when I heard my cat meowing. Meow, meow. I thought he'd got stuck in the apple tree again. But when I arrived, the tree was already on the ground and so was my cat. Meow. This tree is big. It couldn't have just fallen over. Noddy! Huh? Noddy! There you are! Clopicorn stable door has been broken! Broken? How? What's happened? I was having a bad dream. You should have heard him crying out in his sleep, drumming his hooves, swishing his tail. Help! Help! Uh. And then, boom! I woke up and my door was broken in two. I mean, like, that's really not cool. The whole stable's not looking nauticontastic now. And it was really, really scary. Don't worry, Corn. I'll find out who broke your door. I'm sure it's got something to do with my investigation. You need to be really big and strong to bend a crane, knock over a tree, and break down a door. Mm -hmm. 
Who in Toyland is big and strong? Smarty saw us. She's big and strong. Come on, Bumpy. Let's go. I've been here all day. I've been working on my experiments. Look! <gasps> Pink! Wow! I knew it! Yeah! No! That's <laughs> not Thesaurus! Careful! <laughs> oh, sorry! <laughs> did you see or hear anything earlier today? No, I did see Deltoid walk past. He looked like he was in a hurry. Deltoid? You're right, Bumpy. Deltoid is really big and strong. Thanks, Martisaurus. Wow! Blue! Woohoo! Deltoid? Hello! Greetings, Naughty. I am up here. Come on! What's happened? I have had an accident. My chimney pot has been ripped off. See? Hey! <gasps> really? You've had an accident happen today, too? Mm -hmm. Then it can't have been Deltoid. What can't have been? Ah! What was that? That? That is the pirates! The pirate cannon! It can fire a really long way. Maybe that's what's making all the accidents happen. Hey! Are you okay? Uh, yes, the floor is soft. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bumpy, let's go to Pirate Bay. Good luck, young Noddy. Let me know if you need my help to save any toys. Bye! <laughs> Captain! Oh, hi there, my lad. What brings you here? Your cannon. I think it's been causing lots of damage all over Toyland. Damage? <laughs> huh? Here, cat! Hey! It's really light. Of course there is. It's made of foam. <laughs> Hmm. This investigation's getting nowhere. I must have missed something. Only Smartysaurus and Deltoid are strong enough to have made the accidents happen. Here, let's have a look too. But Smartysaurus was at home all day. And Deltoid's house had an accident too. Maybe there's a new, even stronger toy in Toyland. A new toy? You better find them fast. We'll need your help. Ow! 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 Ah! Ah! Ow! Help! Of course! That's it! Everyone needed help when the accidents happened. The builder was stuck in his crane, the cat was stuck in the apple tree, and Clobbycon shouted in his sleep because he was having a bad dream. Bad dream! Bad dream! Ah! I think whoever did it wasn't trying to break things. They were trying to help. And I think I know who it is. But I need your help to be sure. Ah! Ah! You need help? Yes. Can you say it louder? Ah. You need help! 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 <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Oh. 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 
Whoops. Sorry. Don't worry. Were you the one behind the accidents in Toyland? Um. Oh. Yes, it was me. I. I wanted to be a proper hero. A superhero. I call myself Delto Man. Delto Man? But why did you break everything? Um, truly, I did not mean to. I am too strong. <gasps> Every time I tried to help, I broke something. <gasps> Dar, we're okay. And to make everyone think it was someone else, did you break your own chimney too? Oh no, that was an accident. I was trying a superhero super move and it fell over. <laughs> like my galleon, you mean? <clears throat> oh. <gasps> Arr! Delto Man really is strong. Well, yes, but as I break everything, what's the use? I'll never be a superhero. Arr! I wouldn't be so sure. No, a little more to the right. Uh, 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 uh. No, no, left. Ha. Delto Man, when you're finished, could you help me move some containers? <gasps> of course. Ha. Delto Man to the rescue! <laughs> well done, Noddy. How did you work out your investigation? It was Pirate Stripes asking for help that gave me the link between all the accidents. Everyone called for help. Delta Man didn't realise that he was making things worse. So that's what was causing all the accidents. <laughs> but now he's a real superhero. Aha! The case of the Toyland accidents is closed. So there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! <laughs> Hi, Deltoid. Ready to play hide and seek? I, Deltoid, am always ready for a game of hide and seek. <laughs> we can start as soon as Smarty Saurus arrives. I cannot wait to play. I'm so excellent at hide and seek. <laughs> I am Deltoid, King of Hiding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maximum alert. Noddy, help. Maximum alert. Maximum alert, help. What's wrong, Fuse? My workshop is ruined. My outside wall is no longer yellow. Someone's painted it blue. Blue. How I like blue, the colour of the sky. Who would paint the workshop wall without asking? That's what I want to know. Sad face. I need to investigate. Who painted Fuse's wall blue? Time to open a new case. Investigate. Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? Let's investigate now. Let's call this the case of the blue wall. But what about hide and seek? <laughs> we'll play after I've finished my investigation. I promise. Yes! Ha <laughs> 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 Hmm. What's your plan, Noddy? I need to have a look at the blue wall. Come on, Fuse. Oh. Good luck, Noddy! Look, blue. Got it, Faze. Don't worry, Fuse. We'll find out what happened. The wall's so high. Hmm. Hmm. And the paint's still wet. It must have been painted this morning. Were you here? No, I was out at an emergency breakdown all morning. So it must have been painted then. Who has paints and brushes in Toyland and loves painting? <coughs> yes, Pat-Pat. Let's go and see her. 
Good luck! <laughs> wow! Your sculpture's amazing! Thanks, Noddy! Are you on an investigation? Yes! Oh, super exciting! What's happened? Someone painted Fuse's wall blue. <laughs> Do you know anything about it? You've got loads of paints and brushes, and I know you like decorating. That's true, but I'd never have painted it blue. I'd have made it all yellow, like sunshine. Oh. <gasps> Bumpy, look at that ladder. <laughs> That's it. Maybe that's how the wall was climbed, with a really tall ladder. Fuse's wall is so high, whoever painted it could have used a ladder to climb up. Where can I find a really tall ladder in Toyland? Oh, I know, I know. Farmer Tom has one. He uses it for picking fruit. Great. Thanks, Pat Pat. See you later. Hello, Bumpy. If you're here, it means Noddy can't be far away. I'm a bit of a detective myself. <laughs> Hello, Farmer Tom. Hi, Tractor. How are you, Noddy? Are you here for some nice crispy lettuces? I've got big ones, big ones and big ones. <laughs> you don't get better than these. Thanks, but I'm on an investigation. I'm trying to find out who painted Fuse's wall blue. Whoever did it needed to climb up very high. Look. Oh, you have a tall ladder, don't you? Yeah, I lent it to the pirates. They said they needed it to get very high up. High up? Maybe the pirates used the ladder to paint Fuser's wall. Thanks. We've got to go. Bye. <laughs> I can't hear ye. You'll have to climb up. <laughs> Let me help. Uh, oh, thanks, Noddy. Now, what can I do for you? I'm on an investigation. Did you use the ladder to do anything else today? Well, like what, lad? Like painting Fuse's wall blue? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever do we do that for? We've got our ship to clean, and it's taking forever. Deltoid was meant to help us this morning. He's so big and strong. <laughs> we clean the ship in no time when he helps. But he said he had something urgent to do. Something urgent? Really? Deltoid's big, big enough to paint a high wall, and he wouldn't need a ladder at all. <laughs> yes. You're right, Bumpy. He was in Brickerfield this morning, and he said he liked blue. I wonder if he painted the wall. Let's go and see Deltoid. Good luck with the ship cleaning. Bye, Noddy. One, reach. Two, stretch. Three, move. Four, hold. Huh? Huh. Noddy. Have you finished your investigation? Can we play hide-and-seek now? Almost. Deltoid, did you paint Fuse's wall blue? <laughs> Me? Deltoid? Paint the wall? I like blue, but it was not me. So who else is big enough to paint a high wall without a ladder? Yes. Smartysaurus is even taller than you. Maybe she painted the wall. Come on, you two. Let's go to the dino lab. <laughs> Bye, Deltoid. Be fast, Noddy. I want to play hide and seek. <laughs> <sighs> My 
Marty Taurus. Hello? Huh? <laughs> Smartysaurus. Oh, yes. I'm practicing hide and seek. Did you paint Fuse's wall blue this morning? He's very upset. Oh, yes. It was me. Why did you do it? Oh, I didn't mean to upset Fuse. It was for hide and seek. For hide and seek? Uh-huh. I'm so big that I always stick out. So I painted the wall behind my hiding place blue, like me, so that the bits of me that stick out can blend into the background, like a chameleon. Look, a blue wall plus a truck plus me equals a brilliant hiding place. Even if I stick out, I'm invisible. That's really clever, but I think you need to explain it all to Fuse. Oh. <sighs> I'm so sorry I painted your wall without asking. I'll paint it back right now. Thank you. Offer accepted. But I need to relax my circuits first with a game of hide and seek. Happy face! Yay! Yay! <laughs> yes! 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 I, Deltoid, will be invisible for everyone. <laughs> oh. ah, I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming. Ready or not? Mm. Ah. Found you. <laughs> your hiding place. Oh. <laughs> Another case closed. Clever you. <laughs> Thanks. I asked all over Toyland if anyone knew who painted the wall. After I spoke to Deltoid, I realised that Smarty Saurus was the only one big enough to paint the very top of the wall. <laughs> the case of the blue wall is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed!
I do love Fable Forest. Such a calm and peaceful place. <laughs> Look no! out! Oh! Oh! Oops. <sighs> Sorry, me hearties. It's the pirates. What are you doing here? Hey. Oh. 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 Ow. Help me. Oh. Ah. We be looking for the Fable Forest gold. Gold! Gold! Ah, ah, ah. Mm. Oh! The famous Fable Forest Gold! Wow! Ah, yes. It was hidden by fairies long ago. <laughs> they say it's very hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> Not for a proper pirate. Right. Two steps this way. Three steps that way. Ha-ha! <laughs> Oh, no! No, no, no! Oh, arr. Wow! Oh. The fable for his gold! Ha <laughs> oh. ha! Oh! There's nothing there! Just an old horn and a gold button! We haven't found a fable for his gold. We ain't proper pirates after all. Oh! oh. No, wait! The treasure must be somewhere, and I'm going to help you find it. Uh -huh. Oh, thanks, That's Noddy! Naughty. I need to investigate. Where is the Fable Forest Gold? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Let's call this the case of the Fable Forest Gold. Let's think. What have we got so far? Nothing. Apart from this air horn and a gold button. Oh. Maybe they can help. Oh. How's an old horn going to help us find the treasure? Hmm. Uh, um. Oh, by blowing it! Ah huh? I'm the Knight of the Old Horn. I come to help you find the Fable Forest Gold. It worked! Yeah! Hooray! Uh, <laughs> No, I am the Knight of the Old Horn, and I come to help you find the Fable Forest Gold. Oh. No, I am. No, it's me. I am. No, I am. No, it's me. Don't listen to him. No, it's me. I am. No, I am. It's I am. No, it's me. Get off. Oh, no, it's me. Oh, oh. No, 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 I am. Oh. oh. Very well. There's only one way to decide this. Agreed. Noddy. You must choose the true knight of the old horn. But how can I choose when you're exactly the same? Unless maybe you aren't the same. Let's try and spot the difference to find out who is the real knight. Huh? Uh. Hmm. I can't see anything different, apart from... Here! You're missing a button. And here it is. Oh! <laughs> I am the true knight of the old horn. Here! Hooray! <laughs> a map! Look! X marks the spot. It's in the Royal Garden. Thank you. Ah, let's go! <laughs> Bye, Biggies. Good luck, Noddy. And remember this. Never, ever, ever give up. <laughs> the map shows the treasure should be just... Here! Oh, oh no! Ah! Huh? It's just an old lamp. Oh. Ow! Oh, my days at sea, I know. No, wait! Oh. What if this lamp is magic, just like the old horn? Oh! 
Magic, eh? <laughs> Nothing happens when you blow on a magic lamp. You rub it, like in Aladdin's story with the genie. Oh. <laughs> Coco! Hello, Nuddy. <laughs> you looking for something? Yes, the Fable Forest Gold. Oh, well, good luck. <laughs> Oh, what a pity. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> You'll find what you're looking for in the middle of the Fable Forest maze. Yay! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Coco. Oh, and Noddy, remember, never, ever, ever give up. First one to the treasure! Ha <laughs> ha! Search the maze without getting lost or bumping into each other. Uh, um. Oh. Oh. Um. Um. Hmm. I've got it. Scurvy. <coughs> can you fly over the maze? Maybe you can see the treasure. Ah, treasure! Treasure! No treasure! 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 Ah! 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 Arr. It's no good. We'll never be proper pirates. Maybe Scurvy can guide us to the treasure. Guide? Guide? Hooray! Arr. Forward! Right! Forward! Right! Left! Right! Treasure! Yeah! yeah. Hooray! <laughs> guide? Guide? Well done, me hearty. <laughs> oh, how'd you open this thing? To open, please say the magic words. Hey, what magic words? Abracadabra. Wrong. Open sesame. Wrong. Hocus pocus. Wrong. Hey presto, alakazam. Wrong, wrong, <laughs> wrong. Oh, this is hopeless. Wrong. Oh, we're never going to find the magic words. Wrong. But we've come so far. There must be a way. Let's look at the clues. That's the old horn. That's the gold button. And that's the knight who gave us a map and told us to... <gasps> Wait! That's it! Of course! Do you remember what the knight said to us? And Fairy Coco, too. Um. Uh, oh, um. Right. Uh, uh, it, uh, uh, well, uh, um. No. The magic words are never, ever, ever give up. Correct. Fable for his gold. That's why they said never give up. Well done, well done. You found the treasure. Hi, all thanks to Noddy. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, 
Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Whoa! Oh, we are proper pirates. Oh, yes! Hooray! <laughs> 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 Well done, Noddy. You solved the investigation. Yes. I found out where the treasure was hidden by following the clues to the maze. Then all I had to do was remember the magic words. Never, ever, ever give up. <laughs> the case of the Fable Forest Gold is closed. So there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Okay.